Hey guys, oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I've got the Polestar 3 for a whole week and I can't wait to share my thoughts. Welcome to the interior of the Polestar 3. Notice how quiet the cabin is. Now the Polestar 3 is an SUV, but it really drives like a sports car. Despite its large size, you wouldn't really feel it. You won't, you won't feel it at all, in fact, uh, when you take those corners. There's a lot of grip and very little body roll, which is so important for a great driving experience. Now what I want to do today is I want to talk about some of my favorite features within the car. I mean, besides the 14.5 inch display screen that they have in the middle of the console which handles just about everything i really love the nine inch driver display which is just beyond the steering wheel what i like to do is i like to put it in car centric mode because this allows me to see every bit of traffic around me so i can see the cars to my left my right uh, behind me and in front and it's so important for city driving. There are other modes that you can put it in For example, uh, if you'd like to see your map pop up on that 9 inch screen You can put it in that mode or if you just like to use it as a traditional speedometer uh, There is that mode as well, which will also tell you how much battery life you still have Another feature that I absolutely love has to be the 25 Bowers and Wilkins speakers that are so strategically placed throughout the car, including in my headrest and the headrest of the, my passenger. Now there are three modes that you can put your music in or your podcast in. There is stage, there is studio, and there is room. So depending on what you're listening to, you can really adjust it for the best audio experience. Another feature I'd like to talk about is this panoramic roof that goes all the way from the top of my head to the back seat. Now this panoramic roof really gives the car a lot more spaciousness or at least a feel of a lot more spaciousness and airiness but at the same time it blocks out 99.5 percent of those awful UV rays and that also allows the car to be more energy efficient. And finally, I've always loved Polestar's attention to sustainability. So the aluminium that's in this car is made of 80% post-industrial waste, which is absolutely fantastic. Thank you, Polestar, for, for doing that. And thank you, Polestar, for creating such an amazing ride. This car overall is a great drive, has tons of space for you and the family. Uh, lots of boot space in the back and please get it with these Swedish goal accents. I absolutely love that.